In this video, um, we are going to look at mock servers. At Redockly, our mission is to help developers consume APIs with less handholding and support, and mock servers can help us in that mission. So mock servers can used by, be used by both the producers of APIs and consumers of APIs. By producers, they can be used during the design phase and uh, during the original build phase as well. So producers and consumers can be building towards a common uh, design uh, at the same time productively. But they can also be used by developers uh, after the fact because it's a lower, lighter weight way to test and try an API without actually making a commitment to sign up and create credentials or anything like that. So let's take a look. Uh, let's um, use uh, this dinner API as an example. To enable mock servers, we'll go to the settings tab and click on mock servers and make sure this is checked. It was already checked here. So if I uncheck it, it disables the mock servers. If I check it, it they're enabled. Now back on the overview tab, I can get mock servers uh, for my primary branch or any preview branch uh, by clicking on those three dots and seeing, looking for the mock server uh, uh, link inside of that. So if I click on this mock server button, it will copy that mock server URL and I can use that and interact with it. Now I'm gonna go over to some uh, docs. So over here is the uh, what's for dinner add an ingredient doc. I've changed my uh, sc screen orientation so that it's in a stacked view. So I'm going to use curl because I've got a terminal open and I'll be able to just copy and paste this over. So here we go. I'll paste this over here, hit enter, and this is the response. So we can see we got a response back, but I'll show you a few interesting things um, with this. So let's say I change the name of the ingredient to strawberries. So we can see in our last request, it was broccoli and the response said broccoli. And I want to show you that the mock server uh, is, uh, uses heuristics, which you can disable. It's a, it's a configuration toggle. So in this case, it uses the heuristics and the response also has strawberries in there because it, it identifies that the same property exists in the request and the response. So this is a nice um, handy way to use your um, mock servers to help your uh, de help developers consume your APIs with less handholding and support.